Hey there guys, it's the Chili Man here. I am playing, I am finally playing B main G. I've, I, I haven't been procrastinating to play this game, it's just I needed to find the time, eh? But anyway, so we are gonna be trying to survive B main G and what it has to offer. I'm drifting this, um, let me just check what it is. The vehicle, um, I'm drifting the Gal Galveral Bullock. It's the drift version. So anyway, enough talking. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just rev this car. Uh, what's handbrake? Oopsie. Let's just rev. Okay, anyway, let's go. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Yee. Okay, um, I made a slight miscalculation. Oh, I love this game. Let's do this again. Oh dear. Let's go. Okay, it appears that this isn't a very curvy part. Let me just check. Um oh. This isn't a very curvy map actually. Um let's just keep going. Let's go. Oh, there's a tunnel. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I love how this looks like a perfect place to do a donut. Is <laughs> let's go, Woo! let's go. I'm struggling to keep my drift a bit, but I just need to practice more with this game. I'm not sure if I should go on uh, on the rally section. If there's maybe an off-road version of this car, then maybe I should. Let's go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Like, with this game, you literally feel each and every individual bump on the road. If there is even a crack on the road, then it's, it affects the, the driving of the car. Let's just go here. Let's see what they have here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh dear, oh dear, okay. This, I think I got a bit overzealous. One of the things I like most about this game is the open world aspect. Even though it's like not the biggest map in the world, there is there is some open world elements to it. And you, you never feel small. Let's go this way. Oh, it's a dead end. Um, it's a dead end. 
at ease a dead end okay um let's just reverse well, let me drive in first person for a bit let me drive in first person for a bit. let's go wait is this yeah this is the road See if we can go up here. Trying really hard not to. Oopsie. Oh dear. Okay, I this I'm stuck. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> oh. Oopsie. You guys might be wondering how how it is I am drifting such a long car. You know, not necessarily worrying about the. Anyway, um. Yeah, when it comes to. I just want to say that when it comes to drifting in first person, you just have to know your limits if you feel like you are going too far deep into a corner then usually you are going too far deep you want to make sure that, that that you know how long the car is you need to take into into consideration how long the car is and you need to sort of because well, like when you are drifting first person think of it as the car as a part of you as like a part of your body you you must be able to feel the back end you must be able to feel the front end you must be able to know how to judge where what is because you can you can only see the front you can't necessarily see the back so with everything you, like I, I guess it's sort of like a muscle memory type of thing depending on the type of games you play but anyway um woo! okay i don't think this car can okay i think i messed up i think i broke my car Ho oh, ho 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 ho, look at that. Abracadabra. Okay, I saw someone who did a drift here once and this car is way too big. So I think I'm gonna so I think I'm going to um oh, let's try, let's see. Okay uh, Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. One, two, three. Um, you see the biggest issue is I'm worried about that rock right there I'm worried about that rock so I need to be able to measure see that's the thing okay I know that if I stay I know that if I like keep turning right yeah Yeah, this car is just not. This car is just too long. If if it was maybe a shorter, a shorter car, like if this car didn't have such a big booty, maybe it would be able to drift. But anyway, drift around this thing. So maybe maybe the next time I do it. Um, okay. So let's let's just fix this car. Let's just go back to first person. Oh, um, let's see if I can drift this pier. <laughs> Let's go. Holy cow. Front tire, but. Okay, to my knowledge, it appears that my front. Yeah, my, my front right tire had burst so anyway guys uh let's let's go let's go this way oh dear there's a technique to drifting on this game but i barely play it honestly so
Okay, let's go. <laughs> I spent so much of my time fighting the the um the over and the under steer that it's like it's like you like drifting this game is a bit of a handful but once you get used to it Oh dear Woo Okay 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 yeah, I think that's enough drifting in one person first person See, like one of the things about BeamNG is that BeamNG is like not a, con a conventional drift game. Like the physics and stuff is like really technically is like really complicated, but like extremely realistic. Okay, it appears that I've gotten myself stuck. Okay, let's see if I can reverse out of the ditch um, and just hammer it. Okay. Oh dear. Um. Okay, I I need to ramp it. I need to ramp it. Using the lightest throttle movements. There we go. This car's throttle is out of control, sister. Okay, now let's go check that. Like, 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 let's just go check that. Um. Oh, I love this game. See, like this game, like this game is very tricky to drift because, um, this game is very tricky to drift because, um, like, like the physics and the car, you know, they need to work together. So, well, like, whenever you're doing anything, you need to make sure that the car is in the right gear and. <laughs> oh man, this game is so much fun. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But anyway guys, um... But anyway guys, I think... I think I'm gonna call it a day on this game. It was really fun, you know, practicing and everything and like drifting. So I think I'll maybe catch up with this game later when I've learned to drift better. <laughs> but anyway guys, this is the Chili Man. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.